can see what's left from the last time I cut wood. Uh, pretty much the biggest rounds in the pile. It's still the hickory that was blown down a couple years ago back in the woods. And uh, it's, uh, it's pretty wet, so it makes it uh, extremely heavy, especially for one person. I'm going to try my best to use a tractor's front end loader to get those at least uh, waist height. Um, and then just move them over to the splitter. I'm likely going to have to um, manhandle some of these without the tractor. It's pretty muddy in this area right now. So uh, I got about two or three hours worth of work here. Now once I get this done, I've got two more trees on the property. Uh, one of them is standing dead. And the other one's the split top um, that I addressed in my last video. Uh, both those trees I like to get down before summer, or at least before spring really gets rolling. And then I also have two trees coming from a property that my brother and I have. Uh, it's an apartment building. There's two humongous elm trees there um, hanging over our building, and we're going to have them taken down. And that those rounds will actually be coming here um, where I can split them up with firewood. Like I said earlier, uh, we've had a lot of snow. I think we had two or three inches of snow plus a big ice storm. A lot of this wood's frozen to the ground. Um, regardless, it needs to be split up and uh, allowed to dry uh, within a timely manner. Uh, the uh, splitter fired right up, believe it or not. Um, thing sits outside. Uh, I give it no love and uh, it just keeps working over and over again. This summer, I'm going to take it to a buddy, have him do some maintenance on it, and make sure it's uh, going to run fine for this upcoming winter. Uh, plan on doing more firewood. Now, when we talk about firewood, I, I don't take down live trees. I take down dead trees or trees that are dangerous or trees that have blown over in storms. Um, I love my trees, and I don't want to take any down if I don't have to. But like I said earlier in other videos, if you don't, manage the woods properly it becomes a mess back there and uh, these woods sat empty for years uh, forever actually I, I built the house in the middle of the woods so there's never been anyone around to take care of this particular area every year I try to do a little bit more out there I try to uh, gather up uh, branches and whatnot and burn uh, the debris just to keep the uh, ground of the, the woods looking nice now these are pretty big rounds here and they're awful heavy, they're wet. Um, but hickory in general is a heavy, heavy wood. It splits great, as you can see. It takes very little effort from the splitter to break off a chunk and um, it just takes me a while to make the firewood because breaking off part of it and then not to touch the piece again and cut it down to even smaller pieces. That's one of the disadvantages of this splitter for the fact that it only has one wedge. A lot of the newer splitters have like a crisscross wedge or a wedge, uh, multiple wedges that I actually take around and break it into five or six good usable pieces. Uh, this one I can usually do one at a time. Every once in a while I get lucky and get two or three. Um, but, you know, it does the job and I don't have to be fancy when it comes to firewood. I don't do it because I'm trying to make a living off of it. I do it for the reasons I've already stated. Now I'm not only cutting firewood here, I'm also cutting or splitting uh, smoking wood. So you can see there I'm throwing these smaller sticks or smaller pieces of wood to, to my left. Uh, there's a small pile there for the smoking wood and then the pile to the front of me there is my main firewood pile. Uh, Hickory is great to smoke with so I'm really just picking the best part of the log and then I'm splitting that into smoking wood and then the rest of it's just going firewood. Now what I'm going to do with the firewood, I do have a wood burner in my screen in porch. We use it uh, occasionally um, just for enjoyment, not necessarily heat. We will use it for heat in the winter time when it gets cooler out there. It's not a conditioned space. Um, maybe I'll do a video on that someday. But for the most part, in November and December, we probably do need to use it for heat.
And we also use it uh, outside. We have a solo stove, which we use for bonfires. It's kind of nice. It's smokeless, so you can sit around it in the middle of summer and not worry about smelling like smoke afterwards. Um, then also, I give, I give a lot of it away. Uh, sometimes people, friends, family uh, eat wood for whatever reasons. Um, a lot of them need it for smoking meat. Um, I like to give some of it away, especially when you can help out and uh, do a little labor for me. Uh, it helps save my back a little bit. But other than that, the rest of it's all sold. And I sell it on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I mean, you can make decent money at it, I guess. Um, I only sell what I have extra of. And it goes for about maybe $80 of Rick here in Indiana get 90 sometimes I don't deliver at all I used to I don't deliver at all so it's all pickup now I don't sell until January or even February a lot of people that have firewood they'll sell early in the year before the winter comes um, so the market's flooded with people selling firewood and you can see those prices drop down to 60 to 55 dollars a rig just because people are trying to get their money back out of it um, I've just decided to wait until I can get more money out of the wood that I do sell. Um, it seems like it's more of a value to me. It definitely helps pay for the cost to actually process the firewood. After about three years, uh, the wood will go bad, or start to go bad, start to rot, and it's not as desirable to burn as it is when it's about a year old. So as I continue to split wood, the pile in front of me begins to get a lot bigger. Um, so the day is going to come where I need to stack this. I need to stack it before the spring. Um, that way it can dry. You know, it takes a good year to year and a half to dry. So I have to get some 2x4s and I have to decide where I want to put this at. Obviously, I've got some stacked over there in front of me. But there's not enough room there for a lot more. So I have to determine where this is going to go, and it's got to be close to this pile. Now, the area I'm standing in now, it used to be uh, where I was going to plan on putting my pull barn. Um, it's a little low there, and I found a better spot around the corner here that I think would look better for the pull barn. Um, so my goal this summer would be to um, get this graded up a little bit over here, get a little higher. And then also I have some drainage problems with water. I need to work a ditch that's just to the south of here. And, uh, those are all things that will be coming in the upcoming videos this summer. Pretty excited for spring coming. In Indiana, usually March is still a little rough, but April uh, definitely starts showing signs of warmer weather. And um, that will pretty much end my indoor projects for the year, which I need to wrap up right in the middle of a big one now. I'll be putting that video out here in the next week. But for the most part, I'm looking forward to getting outside. I've got to work the vineyard. Um, I do some pruning out there. and I started building a smokehouse last fall. And it's framed. Uh, I started to do the, actually, I still got to do the uh, roof on it. But I plan on bringing you along to see that. And then also I need to do a lot of landscaping around the smokehouse. The smokehouse is in the back of the house. Uh, I got a paver patio back there where it sits. Uh, I'll give an intro video to that real soon and then uh, we'll do additional videos finishing it up and getting it operational for the smoker. Well, my back wasn't too sore the next day, um, but I'm glad I got all these rounds done. Now the uh, big task of stacking it will have to happen. Maybe I can talk one of the kids into helping me do that or just doing it themselves. But uh, you can see how big that stack is. It is kind of muddy down through here. And then around the corner here is where I got my, uh, to the left of the splitter there, is the s small smoking wood sticks that will need to dry out a little bit. Took me about three hours to knock out those rounds and I'll tell you it was a beautiful day and I really did enjoy working outside and
pretty much wraps up this video. Uh, give me a like if you like this type of content. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any additional videos coming up. Please share with your friends and family. And I appreciate you spending time with Elm Pro Heroes.